All right. So, last time we beat the game and got an ending um, that uh, seemed to be the canon ending for this game. You know, that, that's basically like the entire story from beginning to end. However, uh, after beating the game and getting new game plus mode and, you know, going back here, I believe right after you got your arm, which hopefully this is the save that I have that, you know, right after that part, um, you can get other endings in this game, you know? And uh, let's see. I mean, for one, yeah, if you go around here, someone talks to you. Psst, hey, I know who you, are, who you are. I know you played this scenario all before. You strike me as the kind of guy who that lives for challenges and maybe searching for something new and exciting. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sam. I have a proposal. I could use someone like with your talents. You see, I've come across some information about somewhat hidden treasure. Yeah, exciting, right? I found the location. But there's a problem. It is being guarded by a really big guy. I usually deal with this kind of stuff myself, but I fear the odds are against me. My suggestion is that we split the treasure half and half. If you help me. You want to go on a treasure hunt? Um, not right now. I mean, this is also a thing you do. I believe you only can do this on New Game Plus. Uh, how about if I say no? My say. Well, I'll talk to you later, Sam. First, let me just say... Oh, don't, don't kill the save point <laughs> again. Save the game. Let me put it on... Um, I'll do it in the second slot. Like so. And this time... After we got the arm, and we're told by that mysterious frog person to kill everyone. Does that frog person have a name, by the way? I don't remember anymore. Um, instead of doing that, I believe we can go directly to the mushroom forest, right? I think so. Right, yeah. And we'll do something different this time. Let's see here. So we gotta go talk to the Mr. Tree Man once again. And when he tells us to like, you know, kill me, you know, I, I just kill me, I love to die, or whatever. Well, we'll see, so, oh yes, here it is, the Reaper of Souls. I've been looking forward to speaking with you, have you come with my guys or for my soul? So, interact. To put it simply, life is suffering, you know, same thing as before. Basically, apparently, being immortal sucks. Again, a, a gripe that I mentioned before when I finished the the first ending was like, "Is that true?" Or is that, you know, you just say you're just saying it to me. But <laughs> do you understand? I want to die. No, I want you to kill me. I want you to do something unforgivable. I want you to kill everyone. You must end this world. Only you can do this. Will you kill everyone? Mm, no. You must find the courage to both judge and executioner is, or to be both judge and executioner is a heavy burden. I cannot wait another eternity for someone else. Now, shall we battle? No. I see. I cannot know your reasoning. If you made it this far, I suppose you know what you're doing. You know what I desire. You're the only one to give it to me. Okay, that's the same dialogue, though. Hold on. Return to the hub. Okay. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. So after doing that, after you say, you know, no, I believe you go back to the hub. Go back to home base. I wish you could fast travel. Oh. No. What are you doing? Go and kill the forest spirit. You have to liberate them. You must liberate them. Nah. See ya. I don't feel like it. You know, maybe immortality is great. How, how do you know? Who are you to judge whether or not immortality is great? <laughs> Some people might still have, be having fun. Just because you're tired of being immortal doesn't mean other people are not tired of being immortal. Anyway, why are you not helping? There's no other way. Why are you ignoring us? It's great to be immortal. What are you talking about? What are you rattle things to do? You crazy? Every day is a new day. 
because you can always make new things, especially if you collaborate with other people. If you're by yourself, maybe you go probably go insane, but <laughs> there's other people in this world, you know? I think it's possible to keep, you know, making new things. Make make new worlds, you know? You have the power of like infinite time. You can like make new things places make new locations make new people can you create life i mean unless that's a restriction i guess but i mean i, I mean that would be a cure for the boredom isn't it just to make new life more and more and more unless unless there's a i mean there's always caveats i guess unless there's like a limit to how many people can be in this world i guess but i don't know going through this door you will break your destiny are you sure yes all right, so this is a new door that opens up when you refuse to kill the forest spirit and try to head back to the hub world. Let's see what happens. I refuse. Kotowaru. I don't want to kill anyone. They all deserve to live. They don't need to die. Mr. Frogman. You spoke with all the guardians. You've seen this world for what it truly is. Yeah, it's pretty fun. You know, we go kart racing, you dance a whole bunch, you know. There's that one maze of the spider that sucks, but otherwise, it's not that bad. <laughs> Yet you decide not to do anything about it. You play D&D &D as well. You think you're a saint? You're trying to be the good guy. I get it. You don't want to be a killer. But this is a necessary evil. They're afraid of dying. Only you can help them. You understand their suffering? No. You're so young and naive. You haven't truly lived as an immortal, you can't understand that. You have to trust me. You must kill. It is the only way to end it all. They're holding on to a ruined dead world. They're going to thank you for what you've done. They're just afraid of death. Please, you're the only one that can save them. Please, end their suffering. This really sounds like... I mean, obviously in this universe, the, it's, the morals are different. But like, if you say this in real life, you'd be a crazy person. <laughs> anyway, you know, oh, it sucks to live. Kill them all. It'll be great. No, um, no. What you need to do about him? Huh? Kill me? <laughs> I see. You don't care. You just want to see how far you can push me. Oh, I'll show you. I'll show you how far you can push me, human. I'll show you suffering. Uh-oh. do 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 no. <laughs> Okay. Um, I should have saved. Oh. Now, do I have to kill? I wonder. I wonder if I'm forced to kill anyway. Uh, I'll just survive, I guess, as much as long as I can, unless it starts to loop, I guess. It has a bunch of guitars. You know, those guitars are very expensive. I, mean, I guess you do have an eternity to have all those guitars, though, to buy them. I'm dead. Uh, that's, that's hard. Try again. Ah! Nah! Nah! Nah, man, nah! Can you play a little bit slower, Mr. Frog? Mm, that'd be great. This is not fair, you know? Okay, it does this part again. I don't know if it repeats, but I just keep going until he gets tired, you know? Oh. 
Something's different. I haven't got to this part yet. You think you're tough. But now, hmm? I know I asked a lot, but you signed the good contract. Did I sign the contract? I didn't sign it. I don't remember signing anything. Where's, 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 where's the proof, huh? Worthless human. Now, the suffering must continue. Oh, uh, maybe I did sign one. Like, in the very beginning of the game, you give up your humanity to, like, embrace a mortality or whatever. Or the other way around? I don't know, I can't remember. Ah, damn it! Do we have a checkpoint, though? Okay, there's a checkpoint. Okay, good. Because that... <laughs> uh, I fought so hard to get to that point. Okay, so good thing there was a checkpoint. It's just right here too as well, so it's not too bad. Though it's gonna be tough still. I'll make you suffer. I'll fight for all eternity. I'll make your life a living nightmare. But I get to listen to sweet music? I mean, it's not too bad. I don't know, man. Just keep making music, man! For all eternity! Doesn't it sound like heaven? As long as we know how to make music, I guess. I don't know. Ah, damn it. Mm, almost, like... Staying in the at the end there might be a good idea, but you got obviously some wall sometimes got deflect it seems. Good? What's the point? You will never understand. Oh, well, that was tough. <laughs> I cannot convince the human to kill. He does not understand. It is pointless. Please, I don't want to punish their incompetence. I know what I'm asking for. It can be un incomprehensible, horrible, or detasteful. If I could just... If I could just... I would, but it's just... The human just not, does not understand. Without me telling the... I can't wait for another human. I wanted to help, but I can't do it anymore. Forgive me, my friends. Please, let me leave this infernal world.
Don't worry, frog. You have fought well. You shall have your peace. But as you know, you can never return here again. I understand. Let me come home. Hello, human. You are free to leave whenever you want. The others will continue to live their lives through eternity in their egos and it has been, or as it has been. Only death can release them. It is how it was intended. If you have come here to receive an ending, I can't give it to you. As you are the ending. As you are the ending. You are free to leave, but you can return any time you like to finish Frog's requests. I hope you enjoyed your time here. It has been great watching you. Until next time. Alright. I don't want to laughing at the end there. <laughs> Happens every time. But there you go, that's the pacifist ending. It's not the nice ending, necessarily, because it goes against the whole, you know... The story, I guess, of the, what the developer want, wanted you to do, you know, design-wise. But it is an ending you get, you know. I really feel like the you didn't we didn't you didn't do the thing we wanted you to do. Go away now. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Anyway, uh, but there you go. Uh, I guess you do like you know you do a very interesting fight, with Frog. You never got to fight Frog, I guess, in the normal ending. So you get to actually fight him in here, which is interesting. And that's cool. Um, yes, the credit's gonna roll again. And uh, already, you know, it's all the credits, but let's just let it roll. Please write to us and tell us how our game made you feel. Well, let me tell you how the the the, the greatness of immortality. Now, <laughs> let me debate to you about the theory, the hypothetical scenario where everyone's immortal and it'd be a great time. Um. Again, I, I really do feel like I, I wish they really illustrated more of why immortality is a bad thing. They're just, you're just told that and like, Frog is like, oh, you're gonna suffer forever. But not really. You're playing like a fun, you know, I mean, it's a little challenging, but a fun like music battle <laughs> game. So I'm having fun, really. More so than say, than feeling like, oh, I'm suffering. Oh, no. You know, I don't know. Whatever. Let's, uh, let's just try to get another ending. Let's see here. So continuing from... I guess, uh, here, Gate of Eternity? Did I just make a save? Oh, whatever, just, you know, I don't know. Gate of Eternity. Oh, okay. Oh, you go back here. All right. Interesting. So this is the ending, yeah, that we got and then come back? Like, like so? Welcome back, Red. Good luck. Okay, so Frog is gone, but we're still here. And then we came back, okay, literally, like literally, this is very meta, I guess. So yeah, that, that, that just allows us to continue our journey. So you could, I guess you could have got that ending and then continue your whole killing spree if you wanted to, I guess. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, we'll just save it here. Sure, why not? All right, there you go. So that, that was the refusal, what's it called? Like refusal Destiny Breaker ending, I assume. That's what I, I gotta be honest, I, I'm looking at the wiki basically to see what that endings you could get in this game. Without spoiling myself, I try not to read too much of it to see like spoilers, but it's kind of hard obviously, because you know, in order to find out what you're supposed to do. But anyway, so so that's the, the, the pacifist ending. Again, not... It's kind of like a side ending, really, you know? You still continue your journey anyway. The canonical thing is still to, like, liberate everyone's souls. It's a nice way of saying to, like, freaking just murder all of them. Uh, um, let's see here. So let's try to find a different ending now. I think this one involves, I believe... Yeah, okay. Um... Yeah, okay, so I I don't know if this one is if this wasn't the one I should do next, but alright. So the other ending will be involving getting all these rubies, or not rubies, but gems rather, and putting it on the 
pedestal somewhere. It appears sometimes. I I guess it doesn't appear right now, but I think it just randomly appears. But we saw it before. You know, I have one of them already by playing hide and seek of the mushrooms. Uh, there should be another one if we go back to Midnight Town, I believe. Um, I'll get unlock Midnight Town though. Mm. How do you do that again? I kind of forgot. Doors locked. Midnight Town. I believe. Oh, you have to go back to. I believe this way. Okay, so we have the golden key we got from the brown mage by doing his own little fetch quest, which is in itself a parody of fetch quests, I guess, but still is a fetch quest, sort of. Um, we got the gold key, and now we can open this chest again, which I did last time, but I never really, you know, finish because uh, I believe I opened this chest and then, like, you know, you have to fight something, right? I didn't really do that, so. Let's do that. Let's see here. I remember this one being tough, so this is gonna be like another hard fire as well, just like Frog. I guess we'll see. Ah! Ah! I'm gonna die. Help. I'm dead. Damn it! Try again. This is gonna be a lot of retrying. It, it seems like all the, obviously, the, you know, bonus content. Which, I don't know, I still don't know it's bonus necessarily, but you know, a lot of side content. It's gonna be difficult. They don't expect every, you know, they don't expect all the players to do all these little extra things, right? I imagine, just like any game. So that's why they crank up the difficulty, you know? Because <laughs> obviously, if you're gonna be playing more of the game, you're gonna make the game harder. Because obviously you love the game so much, you're gonna do everything, right? <laughs> so therefore... I mean, you can turn down the difficulty, I guess, but... I'm just gonna stick on hard, I guess? Which again, I remember in the beginning when I chose hard, because there's like, what is it, like four difficulty options or something? There's like, you know, story mode, easy mode, normal mode... Oh no, I think there were maybe five, I can't remember now, but... I can't remember, but it was like easy mode, normal mode, hard mode, and super hard mode or something. Insane mode or something, I don't know. But, uh... It defaulted on hard, so I can only assume that's that's normal mode, you know? Normal mode is not really normal mode. Hard mode is normal mode, you know? But maybe they overestimated the difficulty of the game, and therefore they made normal mode or something? And therefore made normal hard, I guess? I don't know. I mean, that can happen, I guess. If you, if obviously, if you spend a lot of time making a game, you get like a like a weird bias. You know how difficult the game actually is because you like spend literally hours, hundreds of hours doing the same thing over and over again to test it. I imagine the difficulty is very subjective because you already got a lot of practice for your own game. You know. So what's easy to use, like incredibly hard for everybody else. Because they didn't get the same amount, of, same amount of practice as you did. And you like made the game, you know? I hate that. It's like a lot of things just, they just barfs at you. Yeah, this thing just barfs at you. Basically. A lot of projectiles at once. Hard to tell where it's safe. I didn't kill him, but... I'm finally free from the shackles! I hope to see you soon, sister! Goodbye this wretched world! Oh. But my gem! Ah, oh, I didn't kill him, so... I didn't get the gem, I guess. The gems of power and soul-bound gems, sometimes known as the fruits of the gods. There are different gems in this world, many are known, but it's likely there are still just as many waiting to be discovered. To truly harness the gem's full potential, the user needs to fuse the gem with their body and soul. This is known as soul bonding gems. One should be conscious of soul bonding or soul binding gems as they have a tendency to change the very nature of the ego once truly connected. In essence, it's very unnatural. 
The melting process is known to be quite painful. For a gem to become a soul-bound gem, it needs to replace at least one of the five senses. Sight, hearing, touch, smell, or taste. One or more need to be sacrificed for the gem to truly activate. I guess that's it. What does that mean exactly? Can I can, can kill the fruits of the gods? Kill the note. It's not that. Okay. Yeah, okay, I can move up. Move away. All right. I think we're good. You see that, by the way? So that was in the chest. Truly sensational. Okay. <laughs> well, I won, quote unquote. I didn't really win because the light, this, 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 this light being ran away. It seems. Let me save the game. Let's see. Um, I guess I'll save it here. At this point. Alright. Let's go back. Anyway. <laughs> Where is it? Over here. Alright. So you can go over here. So we have the key from the brown maze. You can also open this up. I believe. Like so. Where does it lead? I don't know. Let's go in. Is it scary monsters? Oh, it's just a bunch of scrap. It reminds, it reminds me, actually, of the part uh, involving uh, Professor Orange. S scary face. Mm -hmm. But it's just, just, just scrap, I guess. Oh, no beards. Robot skeleton. Is that a lamp, by the way? Or maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there you go. There's a lamp right here. What do you want to do? Interact. Hello. You save? Yes. Okay. Weird lamp robot. Uh, I guess I'll save here. Or accidentally save in the first slot, but that's fine. Hmm, interesting. There was a lamp over here. I tried like uh, on my normal playthrough, I actually tried to kill all the lamps, but there is like one more lamp over here. I guess I might have missed. I don't know. Hey, what's this? This is this jump rope. <laughs> A jump rope holds itself up. You accept the challenge? Uh-oh. Okay. You know, I tried fighting the light being, the, the, the light boss guy, that came from the chest, and that was really, really hard. But like, I wonder if this is just as hard. I don't know. You gotta jump, I guess? You gotta jump. Oh no. Eh. Eh. I mean, so far so good. It's gonna get tougher probably later. Uh-oh. It's a rhythm. Ow! Okay, well, it's not one shot at least. That way. Oh, come on. I'm trying to follow the beat, you know? Boom, 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 boom. One and two and one and two and. Is that it? I don't know, because I messed up the very end there. Okay, I really had to concentrate there. Obviously, I still made a bunch of mistakes, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, was that it? It's just a bunch of gnomes trolling me. They keep doing that, by the way. It's just a little, little, little gnomes. What's the story of this area, by the way? I don't know. It remind, again, it reminds me of Professor Orange. Is it the same place? Looks different, though. 
Uh, you want to lock the door of your arm? Yes. Hello? What is this area? <laughs> what is this? It's very large. Hmm. I guess it's inside of like the giant sphere, I assume. Is what this perspective is supposed to represent? I mean, I guess I'll just grab this thing right here. You picked up an aquamarine. Is it supposed to be a space between those words? Isn't it like one word? No. Well, that leads nowhere. All right, there you go. Hmm. Interesting room. Interesting little, little mini game there. But I guess we're good. Oh, the door opens by itself. That's weird, but I don't think that's anything special. There you go. Interesting. Yeah, okay. Let's see. I think it's over here, right? Yeah, over here. I don't know how you would know this normally, but I know because I looked it up, so... Alright. The world is a shell. It gives me no pleasure to witness this twisted experiment. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah, try to kill it, I guess. You dare to challenge me again? Die. You must die. Well, I want that gem, okay? You're not allowed to hold on to that gem. So, let's do this again. Uh, hopefully this time I'll be able to kill him. Maybe, maybe not. That's the hard part, actually. Then, you know, I did find like it was harder to kill rather than like just survive. I feel like, because obviously sometimes the song just ends before you're ready to end the fight yourself. You know. Hmm. That's not great. I keep dying that part. I don't know because I'm trying to get do more damage. You know, I feel like I watched the video with someone being this. In order to win, you do have to do damage during that part. You can't just dodge. You're, you're, no, you're not allowed. <laughs> you're not allowed to just dodge. You have to do damage that part. Otherwise, it doesn't count. go again Oh, just at the last, the last one. Uh, apologies for screaming, I guess, but that was so close. I almost, almost lost it. 
at the very end there. That was the last shot. I think that was the last like verse, you know, the song was gonna end. Oh, this took so long. It took several hours. You know, last time when I last streamed this, you know, I, I like I took so long that I finished a stream, came back, the new session, and like another half hour, it took many tries. I lost count how many times this took. But like, it took a long time, let's just say. This is one of the hardest bosses I had to fight in this game, goddamn. I don't know if it's gonna be even harder bosses later on, but this one's like really hard. Because of how tight you need to be, you know, do as much damage as you can without dying. Anyway. Uh, hello. Uh, Kokun, by the way. Kokun? Kokun? Yeah, first try. Yes, it was all first try. It was obviously first try. It's super easy. No, I'm being sarcastic. Um, let's see. Light being, finally. Or rather, well, my thoughts exactly, finally, but... Finally. A warrior worthy. Use it well. Fine. <laughs> it took so long. Here's the emerald. Alright, there you go. Time to have a relaxing time, obviously, fighting all the other bosses, you know? With no frustration at all, and I don't lose uh, a million times, obviously. Um, Alright, let's go back here. So we have all the gems, by the way. That's to unlock the ending that I wanted to do initially, which uh, is available. Okay, so there you go. There, there's like a statue over there. Let me save, though, first. Mm -hmm. Interact. Don't kill the save point accidentally. Right. That would be pretty inconvenient. Save the game. Alright. I am streaming, right? I am recording this. Like, I didn't do this accidentally off screen somehow. Um, like, I'm not dreaming? No? Okay. So I got the ruby, the emerald, and the aquamarine. There was a note in the chest that mentioned that if you combine all of them, it will give you, you know, basically some kind of power, I guess. Let's see what happens. If you put it all on this thing right here. The three die cast statue. A faded description of the statue says, Bring me my eyes and I will allow you to meet your maker. Oop. Insert the emerald. Oop. Insert the ruby. Are you sure you want to insert the last piece? Yes. You inserted the aquamarine. My oh boy. time for a fight i kind of know what's well i don't know the exact specifics but i know yeah something happens after you put the gems obviously we gotta do this ah all right here's another boss fight oh god i'm just gonna die right away aren't i There you go, you fight the freaking developer of this game. This goddamn game. Your goddamn light being. Boss, and then I die. Try again. Alright, it's gonna be hard, I imagine. There's no there's no way to parry though at the beginning, it seems. I don't know if we have to do that at the very end. Like I have to actually kill them or something? I don't know, we'll see. Like, ah, uh, never mind that. I kinda panicked there. I forgot what my what the pattern was, and I lost it. Try again. I say that in Japanese, Itsumo? That's, no, that's wrong. That's something else. I don't know, I actually forgot how you say that in Japanese. Oh. Like one more? Multiple? No. Uh, I don't know. Don't remember. Like mo, no, actually, I think it's mo ichido. Is that what it is? Mo ichido. Mo ichido? Mo Ikai? Well, that's. Isn't that the song? Like that meme song about Fate Stay Night? Mo Ikai? I believe the original song was just some random pop song. And then someone made like a animated music video, I guess, of Fate Stay Night characters. I think? I don't know. Mo Ikai.
Harry, Harry. Attack. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Time to dodge. Harry. Good. Shoot. Yeah, just jump over the third one. Like you can you can't absorb that one, but I'm like just just find the opportunity to shoot. From those two projectiles there and that should be good now just do this a million times good oh i didn't mean to do that but i guess that works you know i didn't mean to jump over the first one but you know it worked out Still did damage. Hashtag did damage. <laughs> uh. Got too... Got too greedy there, I think. Or too impetuous is the word, maybe. Harry. Harry, shoot. Do not die. Do not die. Your duties unfulfilled. You're not allowed to die. Slay these developers. Destroy them. You must kill them now. <sighs> I freaking murdered the developers in real life too. Just, just stab them, Noah. That's illegal. We can't do that. Is it over? I'm still moving. Is there a second phase? If I is there a second phase, I'm gonna scream. Nope. Okay, they're both dead. Jordy and Chris are freaking dead. I snapped their necks. They're dead in real life. They die in the game. They die in real life. That's how it works, right? Ugh. Took a bit. Not as long as the, the light being one, but it was hard in a different way, I guess. You know, the, the light being one was hard only because it's kind of like a DPS check, you know? This one, it, it was one of those fights that looped, so it's more so just surviving. So definitely, definitely tough. Ah, uh, I'm gonna drink some water. So there you go. That's the, that's this fight after collecting the three gems which is his own ending i guess it's not really like a story ending it's more like um you know a secret boss fight ending you know it's for the challenge itself i assume that's a, like its own reward i guess there's no like extra thing where 
And by the way, let me explain, you know, the backstory of this, like, Everhood game and blah blah blah. No, you just win. Because you killed them. You killed the developers. They're just dead now. Amazing. I did it. Good. I wonder what, you know, I, I was going to say, like, uh, I wonder what kind of, what other types of games allow you to just murder the developers, you know? Maybe there's some kind of game like that out there. Anyway. There you go. Another ending down. That was tough, actually. So that ending, like, I remember the first ending I did was one involving the frog. You know, it was like a, like a pseudo pacifist ending. This one's collecting the three gems and meeting your maker. I forget what it's called. The, the actual ending is called. Um, I don't know if there's like an official name for it, but, you know, it's the you kill the developers ending. So that's that took a while. To be honest, I mean, I don't know. I guess it really is. I said before, like, it's really is a, its own reward, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I don't know if it's worth it, Story, like, I, I don't know, it's like, story-wise, because there is no story much, or much story to it, other than collecting three gems, I guess. It's really just more like an Easter egg ending. But, eh, it was, it was, overall, I mean, it was tough, and it was a challenge, but, you know, it was, it was cool. I'm still reeling back from the adrenaline, you know? Uh, so, I, I guess, you know, the game... Uh, did do its job in being a game, you know? Anyway. Let's move on, I guess, and let's see if there's anything else I can do. Press the A button, question mark. So. In New Game Plus, there is something else you can do after you beat the game. I talked to, the, I talked to Sam a little bit before, I think, already, but let me just talk to him again. What do you want to do? Interact? You've come to reconsider my offer? Do you want to go on a treasure hunt with me? Okay, so last time I denied it because I wanted to do all the end other endings first. Let's say yes this time. Yes. How very exciting. I will summon the door. Oh, there you go. There is a door. Dolls first! Oh, I am a doll, I guess, technically. The music even playing. We just save the game real quick. Not if it matters, but you know, it saves like five seconds. Uh, I'll save it over this one. There we go. Let's go through the door, and where does it lead us? I don't know. We'll see. Hello? Oh. It's just a treasure hunt, okay? Time to follow the cat. It might be good to mention that there's no shame in turning down difficulty. I, ne I did not do that, Sam. <laughs> you know, I stick to the hard mode. I didn't do insane difficulty. But I stick to hard mode the entire time. I spent hours defeating two bosses... There's no way I'm turning out difficulty at this point, Sam. In this part of the realm, well, things might get more intense. Well, is it going to be another boss fight? Because if it is, it's going to be another, like, several hours of this. Interact. Don't kill. Uh, alright. This is the place I was talking about. I know the beast is lurking there. Go and defeat it. So we can get the treasure. Mm-hmm. Alright. Alright, time for... On YouTube, it's going to be a lot... <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna be like a first try, and I'm gonna cut everything. Anyway, who treads on these grounds? How did the human find itself here? Nevertheless, your eyes have seen too much. Uh -oh. It's gonna be like I, I, I fight the battle a little bit, then I die, and then I cut to like my win, most likely. If it takes more than like five tries or something. But hey, here's the cat, by the way. It's the, the cat from the main menu. You know, we always see in the main menu anyway. Also, I can't... Eh. Oh, oh well. Help. Okay, finally do some damage. Nope. Too many walls. So many walls. Okay, this is a much more normal fight, but it's probably gonna get harder later on. Most likely. Okay, he's just gonna attack me. This cat is just gonna attack me with rave music. Good. I mean, just like all the other characters, I guess. Oh, huh? big skulls. Can I parry those, actually? I don't know if I can. I don't think so, actually. Seems not. Oh, what? Oh, oh, what? Oh, 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 okay, what? <laughs> now that is interesting. Let's try again. Oh, there's a developer? I didn't even notice. There's the freaking developers back again. God damn it. Get out of here. I thought I murdered you in the other ending. Frick out of here, foreign gnomes. 
the development team. Two people that made this game. I already killed you, damn it. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, one more time, one more time. I probably won't win. I'm getting close to the end of the stream, so. Probably save it for next time, but one more time, in case I get lucky. Who knows? Maybe there's gonna be a fluke where I actually win. But it's re it really is like round two with the developers. God damn it. Don't die, please. At least when I get a little further than this. Oops. part again, which I don't know how to dodge at all. I just panic. Really? There you go. I just panic. I don't know, man. Somehow I get past it. Oh, oh this part again. I don't want to get past that part. It's like lock bites multiple of those projectiles. The heck? Can't do that. It's cheating. Hello? Get out of here. Freak out. Of here. Uh. You have proven yourself worthy. I will allow you to pass. May your quests give you peace. Okay. Alright, I think I won. I think. Yeah, okay, so I, I think I remember. So you don't have to kill the cat, it seems. As long as you survive, I think it counts. So I think I won. Oh, I mean, there. I think there's a. I think you can kill the cat, but um, I think you don't. I mean, it doesn't do anything. It just, uh, as far as I know, anyway. Maybe the cat dies, but it doesn't change anything. There you go. Um, hold on. Let me just. Um, let me, can I just go back real quick? I want to save the game real quick because, as it turns out, mini spoilers. There is variation to this ending. So after you beat the boss, let me just go back real quick and save, just to make sure I'm able to do both types of endings. Let's see. So first ending would be this. Well, not right now, but you know, save the game first, rather. Uh, save it over here. Nice. And go back here. Does Sam say anything? I wonder. 
Let's see. Hi. Uh, don't kill. <laughs> you actually managed to beat the beast. Great job. I'll go open the door. All right. Well, good thing I didn't talk to him first. I think he's supposed to like save before you talk. I've unlocked the door. Come on, hurry. All right. Okay. Let's go in. Well, what happens? Hello? Hmm. I don't know what this place is. This must be the treasure. After all these years, I can finally, uh, find out. It's a TV! Wow. Oh, it's just a dusty old TV. Wait, it's connected to something. Wow, it's an NES! Oh, it's just a Smega station. <laughs> so, Sme Smega? Smega. <laughs> that, that name just reminds me- I, I said before, but I think it reminds me of something else, anyway. It's Super Racket 2! I didn't know that existed. I challenge you, Red. Let's see which one of us is the best racket fighter. Oh, is there more gameplay? Because I remember, yeah, I remember fighting, um, uh, what's his name? Nose for Ratu, you know? Little mini game that involved this as well. Look at the cabinet. I wonder when the cabinet is. I'm so excited to play a fantastical creature like that guarding a video game. There must be something special about it. It's all a video game. Wow. Well, that's locked. It seems. Um. Okay. Oh. Oh. What you see is beyond words. Hey, let's play some games, Dolly. Uh, okay. Never mind that. Hold on. Let's play some video games. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Want to play Super Racket 2? Sure. Why not? Smega. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I don't know. Actually, I, I, I'm not very good at remembering melodies. <laughs> but you know, the Sonic theme that plays? It's a Sega parody. But also, it's not just Sega, I guess. It's also, um... Oh, I missed that. This, this is gonna be hard. I don't know. Let's try again. It's, uh, it's also an NES, you know, Nintendo parody. It's both at the same time. Because the console itself looks like an NES. What? Oh, I missed. What? Crazy. Try again. I hit it like a lot earlier than I think. Oh, come on. Really? Am I hitting it too early or too late? I'm not sure. I feel like I'm hitting it too late, maybe. I can also spam it. Spam. Oh. oh, I can hit a lot. Oh, okay, a lot earlier than I think. Okay. I didn't think you'd do that, actually. I thought you were supposed to hit it, like, exactly. But actually, you can hit it a lot, like, sooner than you think. Nope. Oh. Nope. 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 Kotowaru. Oh yeah? Well, I just spammed the button. Good. It's basically cheating, I feel like, but whatever. I have turbo... Con I have the turbo controller. Turbo button on. Or turbo mode on, rather. I did it! Yay! I, I spammed the button with no skill at all. Yeah, I win. So, I mean, beyond spamming, I guess. The trick is really is that you can, you can hit the ball a lot farther than you think it, you can, actually. You don't have to time it as much. Oh, well, that was okay. Not a huge improvement, but okay. I'm bored. Let's go do something else. What's that cabin? Ah, it's locked. Not a problem for a cat. Ah, there we go. Alright. Oh. Yeah, I don't want anything to do with this. See you around, Dolly. Okay, just stock sound effects over and over again. Um, well, I guess I'll go over here. I'm curious about the cabin. I don't know if the, it does anything, but let's go over here first. Check this out. Uh-oh. Um, incinerator. I'm, uh, I, I, in progress. That's not good. It seems to be a bad idea. 
Also, are we gonna do this again? Except, obviously, this time I have no health, so I'm just freaking dead, I guess. Ah, oh, this is hard, actually, because I don't like the way to control the character. Oh, no, I do have health. Uh, it just didn't, like, regenerate for some reason at the beginning. Yeah, I don't like the way I control the character in the... in the overworld like this, to dodge stuff. It's hard. Ah. Uh, really? Aw, oh, man, dead. Maybe you could survive that, but... I think that's intended that you die. There's no retry, it seems. Maybe? Let's... Oh. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah, pink is out. The body must have broken. Again. Oh, well, I can control the controller, I guess. Ah! No! Stop controlling me! But you wanted me to control you before, don't you remember? Yeah, 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 yeah. So the blind little lamp fell right into the chasm. What do you want? Do you know how long it's been since we last saw each other? I don't know. But I know who you are. You've helped me, Orange. Your existence is truly a cumbersome one. I cannot truly imagine what you have to go through. If you want, my friend, I can give you a temporary escape. Until I find the permanent solution. If that's what you desire? Is that not what we have is that not what we have always done, Orange? Are you mocking me, Pink? Nya nya nya. Let's go make your new body, Pink. Okay. Huh? I hope this one will be sufficient. I think this can work. Thanks, Orange. Okay, it's a new body. As always, it is hard to know what differences this body will have. We can't know until we try, right? May you rest long, Pink. Thanks. I hope so as well. I hope this will fix me. Maybe you will fix me, Yellow. Alright. Strange. Okay. I don't really understand how it connects all to... Like, the story itself. But it seems like Pink and Orange has, like, a... They have a past relationship, I guess? Just like, I mean, it's implied that all the characters know each other from multiple so cycles of immortality. So I guess the red puppet broke, because we know this from the normal ending, anyway. That it was all just a puppet at the end of the day. I don't know if red was a person initially, you know, in the very beginning, but definitely it broke down in the incinerator and then pink, you know, took over the puppet. Of course, then it broke again in this incinerator thing. I don't think you win that one, the, the incinerator boss thing. As far as I know, I don't think you can, there's more to it, I guess, but I think you are guaranteed to die there either way. So there's no point in doing it again, I feel like. But, um, but yeah, so there's like, I don't know, I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't know how, how it all connects exactly, but it seems like Pink, like Orange was expecting Pink to like maybe find a solution, you know, like we ended up killing everyone the first time, but Orange didn't want that, I think, or something. I don't know. It's weird. But maybe Orange, like, the professor had, like, some other solution other than murdering everyone, you know? Directly, maybe? I'm not sure. But there you go, that is one ending. I believe that's the yellow doll ending. That involve, uh, you know, killing the, the thing and... Killing the, the cat thing. Unlocking the door and dying from the incinerator, right? There's another variation of that, I think. So I'll, I'll do that real quick while I'm here. Uh, open this one, right? Go through this scene again. I should have saved, like, maybe I should have saved, like, after I beat him in the, uh, minigame, maybe? Not sure. Okay. Uh... Can I go in here? Okay, I thought I could, like, go in there or something. Okay. Stop staring inside that closet, let's play some games. As soon as you begin to understand how the visuals move, they change. The longer you look, it intensifies exponentially. You see different things, different beings, people you've met and strange things. Is it trying to tell you something? What does it want? 
It all collapses into a massive fractals and keeps folding and folding. Is it trying to tell you something? What does it want? There's a hypnotic gaze to it all. It fills you with warmth and enjoyment. You can almost stare at it forever. As soon as you think you understand it, it throws in something totally new. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, you will always find something new here. What you see is beyond words. Okay, I want to see the dialogue. You see some sort of imagery in an intricate collage. Somehow he's personal, but at the same time, distant. Okay, so I just missed that dialogue real quick. Okay, so it's nothing. It's just, uh, you're just interacting with it, I guess. It's basically, it's just, you're high. I don't know. It's just, that's just a weed closet. Anyway. All right, let's do this again real quick. Okay. Uh, the door is locked, right? I can't leave, it seems. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just stuck there. Anyway. Um, okay, so. After killing Professor Orange and coming back and doing the same thing with Sam, then you just go inside here and, well, what happens? Let's see. I mean, it's gonna do the same thing again. <laughs> yeah, incinerator. Can I survive longer this time? I don't know. I don't know if I can. There really is no point. I do believe that uh, you are guaranteed to die here, no matter what you do. I think. It's hard though. I, I don't know. I can't control... I can't control um, the character very good, you know? When it's like the overworld like this, it's not very tight, right? It's too floaty, I feel like, whatever that means, but, you know. We're not on, like, lanes, I guess. So it's hard to dodge everything properly. Especially if you want to dash. It's like it's hard to like dash and then move the other way, you know? Man. Ah, oh, man. So I don't know how you get past that. I don't know. You supposed to time it, maybe? I'm not, I have no idea. Not sure how you're supposed to do that, but well, doesn't matter, I guess. Again. Okay, so the same thing happens. Body must have broken again. It's a naked pink. I I I think pink is female, you know? I, it's hard to tell. It's just a naked energy woman. No, stop controlling me. Well, again, you asked me to do that in a different alternate dimension. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Well, there's no Professor Orange. He's dead. So... No. You killed them. You killed them and left me here. Why? Because I wanted to see the different ending. Come on, developers. Don't blame me. Blame developers for putting this in, okay? Blame those two guys. No. I won't let you continue to kill. I'll just stay here. Alone. Making sure you won't hurt anyone else. Alright, is that it? Is that the variation of that ending? If you kill Professor Orange, uh, she doesn't, you know, get picked up by him and get into the yellow doll. So I really wonder, so the whole plan with Professor Orange seems to be, like, maybe an al alternate, like... Um, I mean, it could be all- I mean, it is an alternate ending, but the alternate solution, anyway, to this whole thing, where you, like, kill everyone, you know, and they gotta move on or whatever. Because it seems like she agreed to help Orange, but it means not mur murdering everybody. So I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means exactly. I mean, she gets she she's like in like she's she's like um possessing the yellow doll maybe, or she's sleeping in the yellow doll. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Like maybe the idea is to like put everyone inside a doll and then just go to sleep or something. I'm not sure. But uh, but that's the uh, that's the other ending. You know, instead of getting into the doll, you just she's just stuck there forever. You know, it's like it's not great. I guess. It's not great at all. I mean she is like a energy being. Can't she just like fly, you know, and go somewhere else? I don't know. Anyway. How does she possess the doll in the first place, right? She's not like a physical manifestation or anything. I mean she needs the doll in the first place to actually affect anything, I assume. Uh, anyway, but there you go. That, those are all, well, most of the endings. There's still one more ending that I'm missing. 
but it's more like an easter egg than it is an ending really i'll probably do if i on youtube anyway i'll probably do it on like a different video most likely so for now i'll just say you know that's all the endings that i'll do i don't know how i edit this i don't know if like i'll have like its own video for each ending or i'll maybe like put it all in one video i'm not sure yet how am i supposed to do this but you know i guess i'll figure it out later but there you go that's all of the uh alternate endings that i'll do for now uh so i guess for youtube anyway this will be the last thing um technically you know it'll be like the last video for the playthrough again there's gonna be like an extra one but you know this will be like technically the ending <laughs> so uh, so i guess i'll just say that um uh, any like any uh, finishing any like final thoughts i would say well i mean for one the extra boss is really hard you know for what it took really long time to beat a few of them especially the light one the light being to get the last gem the developer fight was pretty hard as well i must say the cat boss was also unique in its own way i mean they're all hard i guess but definitely the light one took me the longest i guess i don't know what it is but that one just took really long you know i i my okay so probably my biggest complaint definitely would be in this game i wish i mean i don't know you can turn out the difficulty i guess but i don't know i i wish the the game design um was less of a dps check you know because there's certain fights that were harder than necessary i feel like it's just unsatisfying right when the you basically time scammed you know like a fighting game or whatever the timer ran out and then you lose it's like it just feels unsatisfying i don't know like i i could lose and die and it would be less frustrating than me just like running out of time you know for whatever reason that's just harder so i really wish they toned that down a little bit you know like maybe like to rebalance it a little bit so you don't have to like if you run out of time technically the song ends if you meet like a certain thresh threshold you win anyway you know like you get like a one final shot that does more damage or something i don't know but i, I really do feel like like either way like the, the you run out of time and then you lose it's like it just feels unsatisfying you know whether or not i need it to be easier or something i don't know like i, I don't mind the difficulty like i like it being hard to a certain point anyway so like be a challenge but I really do feel it feels like not great you know when you just run out of time it's like that's it you just draw and then you lose it's like eh you know it's the way it's presented i guess you know i don't know i, I don't know how you would rebalance that exactly but i wish that wasn't the case you know i was i wish you didn't lose that way all the time you know at certain points it's just it's just a little frustrating but anyway beyond that though i already said my thoughts about how like this game i wish i had like um you know, I wish the music was, again, like, had more motifs to it. Like, there is, like, themes, I guess. Like, certain characters do have, like, certain songs and everything, right? But I really do wish that uh, it follows a sort of pattern in the sense that uh, certain songs, certain, like, songs would play for uh, certain fights, I guess, that would, like, I don't know, like, that would make it more memorable, you know? And maybe not even fights, but, like, just in general, like, the music, certain music would play at certain scenes, you know, and it would repeat a few times so that it would stick in my memory a bit more i don't know I don't, maybe it's just me but like i definitely like again i don't want to compare it to undertale every single time but like you know i i'm gonna make that comparison in undertale i remember those songs not because they're good well not only because they're good because they are good but also because it connects me to what happened in the story right so i wish i had more of that and i guess like one more again another thing would be like yeah but and this is super subjective but like definitely the whole like immortality thing is like i don't know I, I still don't really buy it but like i mean it's whatever i still enjoy the game the gameplay in particular was fun but definitely near the ending of the story at least in the normal playthrough i really do feel like the more i think about it the more i'm like well i really wish they showed why you know like more about why immortality is suffering you know not just assume that it is because i do really do feel that's supposed to be the crux of the story right like you're murdering everyone but it's for the greater good you know that's that's the idea but then it doesn't feel like you're doing it for the greater good anyway because it doesn't feel like immortality is all that bad you know in the first part of the game you basically just play D, D or you go kart racing you know or you're like you know you basically have a fun time everyone and then suddenly you're murdering everyone you know it's, it's kind of jarring maybe that's the idea but i don't know i wish it was more of a slow slower descent you know slower descent to like madness or whatever you know to really show like the horrors of like at least in this universe anyway the, the horrors of like living too long you know you slowly lose your insanity and everything you you lose your memories and all that it show a little bit i guess uh, especially one character you know the hostage oh i say hostage i don't know if it's a hostage necessarily but one of the npcs close to professor orange we still don't know why how they're related but one of them were like you know they, they definitely you know lost their mind but um that's only one character right all the rest of the characters seemed 
pretty much fine. You know, they didn't seem like all that distressed or depressed necessarily. They all seemed, you know, they had their ups and downs, but for the most part, they seemed just quirky and, you know, and most mostly sane. So I kind of wish, you know, I wish they delve more into that, you know, to really show that immortality is a bad thing by showing how, um, how they lose their mind, you know? Or maybe not a bad thing strictly, not strictly a bad thing, but you know, to show the, the other side of immortality. It's not just all fun and games, it's also like, you know, emotional turmoil, or whatever it is, you know, whatever you're trying, whatever message you're trying to show. I really wish they made, they did more of that. Anyway, I mean, just to give an example would be like, um, I mean, I, I like the way in, uh, in Dark Souls, you know, Dark Souls is different, diff, di uh, totally different game, totally different setting, but similar theme in terms of showing how immortality is not exactly a good thing right in dark souls the lore is that you're if you're undead and everything it's like you never die but society kind of like you know um rejects you basically for the most part and oh, on top of like the world itself you're basically collapsing of like civilization just being non-existent for the most part and um deteriorating but also the fact that when you're undead and then you die you go through like a hollowing process right and then Again, you start to lose your memories, you start to lose your sense of identity, you know, it's not a great time. He turned it like beef jerky, like it's not great, right? I wish they showed more of that in uh, in this game to really like, you know, hammer him the home or ham. I'm not saying that right, but uh, hammer home. Is that the right word? I am not saying that phrase correctly to really drive it home. Yeah, to really drive it home that what you're doing is um, morally questionable but for the greater good you know i wish they did more of that really because I, I remember the pacifist ending so it's speaking of like the extra endings i feel like the pacifist ending for example you know it's like it shows a little bit of that but just not enough right it's just like it's just the frog is just saying like you should do it because it's the thing you're supposed to do you know just do it you know it's like he didn't say why he just says just do it idiot you know basically it's like uh, can you explain why please no i guess not uh, uh anyway um but yeah and i know i'm mean, not to ramble too long but like i know that this game is kind of inspired by you know like buddhism and the idea of reincarnation like a lot of like eastern culture religion or whatever but i don't know like, I feel like that's not enough. You know, you need more than that just to assume. You, know, you don't want to, you want to assume anything of the player, right? They need to make their own idea of, of what's going on. You just need to present it, right? More like, you know, just more examples, I guess, is the idea. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling too long. So let me just say, though, overall, though, I did enjoy the game. The music is good and everything. I, the gameplay is definitely unique. Um, if they ever make another game like this, it would be kind of cool. You know, I, I kind of, again, I, I wish to kind of tweak it a little bit in some areas but for the most part is it's pretty good i wouldn't say it's like literally like undertale really people do compare it i imagine and definitely some parts of this game was inspired at least aesthetically by undertale i guess you could even say like the normal playthrough is kind of like the anti-genocide you know route or whatever it's like the opposite i guess but anyway but you know i don't think it really is the same you should really it's not really a fair comparison to really compare literally everything to undertale because you know i feel that that's unfair as i said at the very beginning you know i don't think it's uh exactly that type of game um but i still have fun i like the challenge you know the very uh, the little extra endings it was frustrating but you know i still have fun with it i guess you know it's, i like the little challenge they could do at the very end but anyway all right, I'll stop rambling. Let me just say for YouTube anyway, uh, let me just say that if you didn't know, I stream these games live on Twitch. So check me out over there if you're interested in watching me live. And um, and you can also look for other playthroughs on the channel if you want. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, see you then.